It's beautiful as an eyeshadow. As a shiny Pokemon, I don't know about that. Hello beautiful people! My name is Halcy and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are here for the first time. Today I am going to be talking about shiny Pokemon while I use a few new makeup products to me. So I'm going to start with this ooh, moisturizer from the Inky List. I've never tried it before. I will also be using the Peridot Palette from BH Cosmetics and the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. This is Shiny Pokemon are extremely rare Pokemon with alternate color palettes. They're called shiny because when they appear in battle or if you send them out, they have a brief shining or glittering animation. So, shinies. <laughs> Many people, myself included, seek out these rare versions of Pokemon either through shiny hunting or egg hatching. So, a lot of people wonder, why do some shinies look so bizarre? And the reason for that is kind of interesting, at least to me. In Gen 2, shinies were introduced, and this was in the Gold Silver games. So this was a Game Boy Color game. The colors for the shinies were decided by what colors were next in the code. This was because the uh, early games had a very limited space for data. So that was basically how they were decided up until Gen 6. In Gen 7 that changed and I'll talk about that in a second. So this kind of almost random decision-making method resulted in a lot of earlier Pokemon having very strange shinies or very one shade lighter or one shade darker kind of barely different looking shinies compared to their nine shiny counterparts. In Gen 6, 3D modeling became available, so at that point developers had control over the designs of shiny Pokemon. However, it wasn't really until Gen 7 that this was fully realized. So in Gen 7, which is the Sun and Moon games, and onward, the shiny Pokemon were deliberately designed. Sorry about that noise, that was my sunscreen. Um, a lot of them were given designs that just made sense because, well, they could. Because 3D modeling. Um, Pokemon such as um, Sandy Ghast. It's a black sand, which is um, something that is on one of the beaches in Hawaii, I think? Or it's somewhere. It, it exists in real life. And that's what it's based on. And a lot of the shinies in Sun and Moon and Sword and Shield are designed like that with, um, with purpose. Interestingly, some shiny Pokemon were redesigned by the developers later, um, such as Charizard. Charizard, shiny, used to be purple. I will pop up an image somewhere on the screen, and um, in the Gold, Silver, and the Next Generation games, Charizard was purple, but then he was changed to be black. So this sets an interesting precedent that suggests it's possible for bad shinies or undesirable shinies to be changed officially. However, I kind of doubt that will happen. There are so many Pokemon now and the more likely scenario is that developers are going to only pick their favorites to revamp. 
So my first shiny Pokemon was a Skitty caught in Ruby, um, no, I had Sapphire. Pokemon Sapphire, the original. And I actually did not know it was shiny. It was the first Skitty I ever saw and I had hunted for that Skitty for, I think, 17 hours. <laughs> Skitty in that game was just ridiculously... It had this ridiculously low spawn rate, and I don't know why. Um, but I really desperately wanted one. So the first one I found was shiny, and I caught it. And I didn't know it was shiny until years later. <laughs> but it was one of my favorite Pokemon. So I just think that's really funny. So some shiny Pokemon look unchanged basically um they are either a shade lighter a shade darker or some other small detail has been changed and they don't look very different and these are usually the fans least favorite shiny pokemon some of these include haunter and gengar which is a real shame because those are pretty popular Pokemon, but their shinies just look indistinguishable from their regular versions. Now, if you um, Dynamax or Mega Evolve Gengar, it does have a different coloration, and I think they implemented that in the Gen 6 mechanics because that is when Mega Evolution was introduced and when 3D modeling was introduced. Um, another Pokemon. There are there are so many. These are just a few examples. There are so many more than what I am showing today. Just a disclaimer. <laughs> so another example is Beartic or Beartic. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, it looks the same. I had a really hard time telling which was the shiny in this image, actually. Um, another Pokemon that looks basically the same is Elekid. And Electabuzz looks slightly different, but when you evolve it, it again looks the same as the non-shiny, so it's just kind of a disappointing evolutionary line in general, unless you really like Electabuzz. Um, another really sad um, shiny is Poliwhirl, and also Poliwag. It just kind of is the same. <laughs> it evolves into more interesting colors, though interesting could maybe not be a, bad, a good thing as you might see coming up. Um, another shiny that doesn't look very different is Persian. It, it slightly changes in color. <laughs> really, really uninteresting. Um, we also have Seal. It turns white when its original color is off-white blue. <laughs> Blue tinted white to white. Oh boy, so exciting. Garchomp is another major disappointment. It's the same picture. Leafeon is also incredibly disappointing because a lot of people love the evolutions, and Leafeon just kind of looks the same. Along with, um, well, a little less so, the colors are slightly more noticeable in these others, but not really. <laughs> Flareon is different color of fire, and Glaceon is slightly lighter. Oh boy, so exciting. Some other disappointments include Bidoof, which just kind of turns more yellow, golden, than 
Goldie Brown, Warm Brown, <laughs> and Pikachu, which just kind of turns darker gold. Wigglytuff um, doesn't really change color that much, but the eye, its eye color changes. It goes from blue to green. The inspiration for this video, as I looked at the Peridot palette, was that lime green shade. A lot of shiny Pokemon, for some reason or another, well, we talked about the reason, but are just green. Oddly green, and it does not suit a lot of them. <laughs> My personal least favorite is Espeon. It just kind of looks like a weird alien. And these are all- this is opinion um, of what is bad and what is good. This is my opinion, so don't take it personally. Ursa Ring? Yeah, it's- it's just kind of bad. Um, Miss Magius? Miss Magius? I'm not sure how to- Miss Magius. I'm gonna pronounce it like that. It's such a pretty purple color normally, and it became this weird ugly sewer dipped Miss Magius. <laughs> I probably could have been kinder in that wording, but my champ is also a um tinged green hulkish but not either way, I hate it. <laughs> Beedrill is also, um, just painted green. I know. I don't even particularly like Beedrill in the first place, but the green just makes him worse. Some other green monsters include Stantler. Dodrio. Oh, hold on. Let me turn this down. Maybe you can see the green better. My color is just really off for some reason. Hmm. It's beautiful as an eyeshadow. As a shiny Pokemon? I don't know about that. Where was I? I was at Stantler, Dodrio, Drudigan, which honestly its original form is ugly as well, but the green just makes it ten times more hideous. And Chansey just looks ill. It is just like tinged with this nasty green color. <laughs> and um, if you thought Polly Whirl was bad, Polly Wrath is just green. He's just green. But now we're going to talk about some of my favorite shiny versions of Pokemon, and this is again, personal opinion. I'm so sorry if the pace of this video is incredibly awkward. I haven't ever tried talking while putting on makeup before, and it's harder than it looks. So some of my top favorite shiny Pokemon can kind of be divided into three categories, or four categories. Make it blue, make it pink, make it black, and miscellaneous ghosts and spooky things. So Sylveon is one of my absolute favorite Pokemon and the shiny does not disappoint. It kind of inverts the original colors and changes the pink to blue and the blue to pink, and I think that is very cute. Mew is the same thing. It goes from pink to blue, and both of them are extremely cute. You can't go wrong with, with Mew. Shiny or not. And next, we have Umbreon. 
the black is unchanged, but the spots go from yellow to blue, and it just looks really, really cool and really good on Rembrion. And similarly, Giratina, very awesome in blue. Blue really, really suits it, and cream, it looks so good. Gardevoir is also really, really pretty. It gets a uh, kind of um, cyan y, sea foam y, teal kind of color palette, and it just suits it really, really well. Ponyta and Rapidash normally have red flames or orangey kind of, you know, normal fire flames. And their shinies have blue flames, and it looks amazing. They are one of the most stunning shiny Pokemon for sure. Spiritum also is very, very pretty as a shiny. And it goes from purple to, again, that kind of cyan tealy color that is just, it looks really good, <laughs> is Gigalith. It has crystals on its body that change from red to blue, and it just looks so good. Include Rayquaza, Decidueye, Charizard, which we talked about. It's not always black, but I do like Charizard. I like purple Charizard and black Charizard, as well as Greninja, and my personal favorite black Pokemon, Palisand. I have a really soft spot for it. <laughs> it was one of the first Pokemon that I shiny hunted in Sun and Moon, and it just- it, I love- I love ghost Pokemon in general, and it just looks so- awesome as a shiny. So, oh one second. Some of my favorite pink shiny Pokemon are Celebi. Sobble is one of the Pokemon that I hatched to get a shiny and evolved it into Inteleon and it is just, it is so, so cute as a shiny and the whole line is, is really really pretty and aesthetic as a shiny and another very adorable pokemon that looks cute and pink is lopunny and the baby too chandelure it goes from having a kind of bluey purple periwinkle kind of flame periwinkle tinged body to having a more um, sea foam tinged body and orange flames and I think both of them look really good I it's one of my favorite Pokemon absolute favorites Rosalia the the colors of the roses change into this gorgeous gothic purple and black instead of red and blue and it is just so pretty and it carries that change into um, its evolution as well. And Gorgeist. I love Gorgeist and Pumpkaboo as shinies. My favorite little spooky pumpkins. They are just... The color, the purple, it just it suits them so much. The purple and black. I, I love it. And last of my favorite shiny versions of Pokemon. Now this is just like what I could think of off the top of my head last night. I probably have a lot more, but I love Duskull. It's, it's red. That was my summary of shiny Pokemon and my shiny Pokemon inspired makeup look. Though I want to do more of these kind of talking, getting ready with me makeup videos but not necessarily with the look having to do with the topic. I was just particularly inspired by that radioactive espion shade, like I said. Um, so if you really, if you like this, please hit that like button, maybe comment, subscribe, 
I would love to see you um, in the family, the the cults, the, I don't know. <laughs> I should just stop talking. Okay. Bye.